remember this. Our parents never left anyone behind. They were taken from us. Forensic investigators were back at the couple's home today. The Shermans were found there Friday, strangled. CBC News has confirmed they were found beside the pool in the basement and that there are no security cameras in or outside the home. Homicide detectives are leading the investigation, but there is still no indication from police that the deaths are homicides. The family has enlisted the help of prominent attorney Brian Greenspan. The case still very muddy, but what was made abundantly clear at the memorial today is that before their deaths, Barry and Honey Sherman touched thousands of lives. Ron Charles was there. It took a huge hall in a convention center to hold everyone who came to say goodbye to Barry and Honey Sherman, the prime minister among them. Jonathan Sherman stood on stage with his three sisters. Nothing prepares you to sit down and write your parents' eulogy. To lose a parent is a difficult thing. But to have both parents taken from you before their time, my parents were exceptional people who loved life. He spoke of how much the public conjecture about his parents' deaths has compounded his family's grief. Before we could begin to grieve as a family and recover in a proper Jewish manner, we've had to navigate through a terrifying maze of non-information and unfounded speculation. The continuing mystery surrounding the couple's deaths has also weighed heavily on friends trying to say goodbye. Publisher Paul Godfrey knew the Shermans socially. I know these uh, people that are working on the case are, are the best in the business and uh, hopefully we'll get an answer to what really happened in the days ahead. The crowds of family, friends, employees and strangers who showed up to the funeral today are testament to how many people care deeply about those answers. Uh, the most the most generous people you could ever meet. Stephen Shulman of the United Jewish Appeal says the couple's generosity and kindness left so many people who barely knew them feeling a strong connection to them. I think for the Jewish community beyond that, so many people felt that they knew them personally whether they were their best friends or they'd met them once. As the caskets left this very public funeral, family members retreated into privacy to grieve and to wait for answers. Ron Charles, CBC News, Mississauga, Ontario. The Shermans leave behind a legacy of generosity. Barry told me that although he didn't like to be high profile, he felt it was his duty to set an example for other wealthy people to be as generous as he and Honey were. In Toronto, the couple donated about $10 million to Mount Sinai Hospital and $3 million to the University Health Network, among others. And they supported education as well, donating to the University of Toronto and a project to build a health sciences research centre at York University, which now bears their name. The United Jewish Appeals Sherman Community Campus, north of Toronto, also reflecting their support. And it wasn't just Toronto and Canada that benefited. The couple helped around the world as well through their pharmaceutical company, donating about $50 million worth of pharmaceutical drugs, primarily to organizations working in the developing world.